Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my top 10 foundations. Um, I don't really get a lot of requests for videos, but I've been getting quite a few requests to do my top 10 or top five foundations. Now, as you guys know, I'm a complexion junkie. I have so many foundations. So it took me a while to do this video because I wanted to get it right. And I narrowed it down to if I could only have these 10 foundations going forward for the rest of my life and what would it be? And these are my top 10 of all the foundations um, that I own. Now I'm going to talk about them in no particular order. All right, so let's jump right into it. All right, so the first foundation I want to talk about is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I have it in the shade 4.30. Um, this retails for $40 and this is supposed to be, this is supposed to have a full coverage, but a natural coverage. And I think you're absolutely correct. And I love this foundation because this foundation was my, um, favorite foundation of 2018. I just love, and I love a full coverage, um, foundation and I have dry to normal skin just to, um, so you guys know if you're here for the first um, time. So I love a foundation that has a lot of yellow in the undertone and this has the perfect amount of yellow and just the way it wears, the coverage is so full, so beautiful and natural. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like, um, you know, it's casket ready and you just look dead. It's just, just a full, beautiful coverage. It goes on like a dream, lasts all day. When I wear this foundation, I barely have creasing or anything like that. And I love the um, the aesthetic of it, you know, that, you know, you pump it and the foundation comes out on here. Let me give it a quick swatch so you guys can see the, you know, it comes out like that. And this is the shade. This is such a pretty shade. This is what the shade looks like. It's a nice warm shade that I love so much because it's so warm. So this foundation is absolutely beautiful. If you've never tried this foundation and you, I guess we're looking at it or tempted, you should definitely pick it up. All right, next foundation I'm gonna talk about is my NARS, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have this in the shade Macau and this foundation retails for $49 and this also has a full but natural finish and they're absolutely correct about this. Now, when I did my foundation um, occasion, I said this was the perfect date night foundation because this foundation is so naturally beautiful. Your skin just looks amazing when you put it on. Like every time you wear this foundation, like you could never have a bad day with this foundation or a bad look. It's just so, so pretty. If you own this foundation, you know what I'm talking about. And that long wear is correct. This foundation wears for over 12 hours without looking crazy because I've worn it um, for 12 hours. So, 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 so beautiful. I would always um, recommend this foundation. Before I had this though, I used to love the Sheer Glow, which I still love because like I said, there's so many other foundations that I have that I love but I had to, you know, create a top 10. So this is definitely just such a beautiful foundation. All right, next foundation I wanna talk about is the Laura Mercier, and this is the Flawless Lumiere, it has such a long name, the Flawless Lumiere Radiant Perfecting <laughs> Foundation. I have it in the shade Nutmeg. Um, which is 5C1. This foundation, it, it has a medium um, radiant uh, finish, but it's not radiant in a bad way. Even if you, I think even if you have oily skin, you can pull this foundation off because it's so natural. It just looks, it, it looks like you have like a candle glow kind of look with this foundation. It's absolutely stunning. Love the, you know, the packaging of the foundation. And although it's radiant, it lasts a long time because I remember wearing this foundation one day and I was like, wow, it just lasted so long, but it just gives you like that glow from within. It looks very soft. It's, that's what it is. It softens your face, your skin. 
so pretty. And this one, um, it retails for $48. So most of them are like made and kind of like pricey. This is a very good foundation. If you've never tried a foundation from Laura Mercier, I would definitely suggest this. I'm not going to swatch all of them, but just let me show you guys the color of this one. And this also, for me, has the perfect amount of yellow and warmth that I love in a foundation. It's, it's, it's just so silky. Look at that. So, 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 so pretty. And that's why this made my top 10. And all of these are just flawless, and that's why they are in my top 10. All right. So next foundation... Um, I'm going to talk about is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Of course, this is the original one. They just came up with the matte um, one. And I have this in the shade Chai. And this, this retails for $39. And this is supposed to be like, this has like a medium coverage and it's like a natural finish. But this is buildable because I can get this to a full medium or I can get this to full coverage. And guys, this foundation is perfection in a bottle. I guess like all the rest. It's so, so good. Um, when I did my review of the matte foundation, though, somebody had said that chai was too light for me. Chai is perfect for me. It just has the perfect amount of yellow in it. And this is another foundation. Like it, it's, it's, it's just like a sure thing. You put this on and you know you're going to have a good foundation. They look how warm and pretty that is. I love foundations that have so much warmth and so much yellow in it. I think it complements my skin tone so well. So pretty. And this looks flawless all day, guys. I mean, these foundations are absolutely beautiful. And this is no different. So pretty. So if you don't own this foundation and you are looking at the Too Faced foundations, I mean, all these foundations I'm definitely going to recommend because I think they're beautiful and flawless. Give this um, a try and it will be great if you can, like, you know, find your perfect shape. All right. Next foundation is the La Mer, the foundation. Now, I have two shades. I have Dusk. This one is Dusk and I have Sienna. They both work fine for me. This foundation retails for $120. Yes, $120. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. If, if you're invested in, in complexion products and you love foundation, I think this would be um, <laughs> worth it. Now, this, this one is described as a medium and it has a natural, um, like a natural finish and they're absolutely correct. Now, this foundation is, if you want to look your absolute best skin perfected wear this foundation it has a scent though if you don't like scents you may not like it but i think it's because it lingers a little bit and it's kind of swedish it's worth putting up with the scent for this foundation there's never a time that i wear this foundation when i don't get a compliment and people ask me what foundation am i wearing it looks like dolly skin that's like the only word I can come up with. Like your skin looks so beautiful with this foundation. It lasts all day. It's just perfection from the time you put it on to the time you take it off. The only downside is the price. The packaging is stunning. It's glass. It's like this really thick glass. It's This is, this is perfection in a bottle. It's like they face tuned and did all this stuff and put it in a bottle and say here. But it's 120 bucks. But yeah. It's so, so good, guys. All right, so the next foundation I'm going to talk about is the Givenchy Tom Couture Everwear Foundation. This foundation, I have it in the shade N30, and this foundation retails for $52, so it's a little um, pricey. Now, with this foundation, though, the N430, it's definitely neutral, because when I was, I bought it online at Sephora, when I was looking at the shades of this foundation... Even the ones that claim to be yellow to me looked red. That's why sometimes it's, I love, I should have gone and source watch it, but it works for me. And I wear a lighter concealer with it because it has more of a, to me, although it says neutral, has more of a cooler kind of undertone to it. Slightly reddish, but oh my God, I debuted this and demoed this for the first time on this channel with you guys. And I was wowed then and I'm still wowed. It's, if you guys, if you've been looking at my channel, you remember, it's so beautiful. 
it has like a similar like the Laura Mercier. It gives you like that soft candle glow kind of look. It makes your skin look so soft and youthful and healthy and beautiful. This is also perfection in a bottle. That's why it made my um, top 10. Yeah, so what do they say about the finish? Okay, they said it's a medium natural finish. Yeah, this is definitely a medium. I can get this to a full medium and definitely a natural finish. You don't look like you're wearing like too much makeup. This is absolutely stunning, pricey, but very good. I would definitely recommend, I would recommend all. I would dec definitely recommend um, that one. All right, next foundation is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have it in the shade 14C. I'll explain why I have the shade 14C. I'm currently wearing this foundation today with her powder and setting spray, which I love that combination. Now this foundation retails for $44. Just not a bad price for Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a full matte coverage foundation. It lasts all day. When I did my foundation event, I chose this for the club because you can sweat, you can whatever, it does not move. And then now with that setting spray, it just locks everything in. Now, as far as the shade, I, you know, I keep saying to you guys, I love a yellow undertone, but I purchased this foundation. And when I did my foundation at all, I can't believe it's almost a year since I did that video. This came out on top because it's so spectacular. But when I purchased this, my audience had to educate me on like the undertones because I was everything I went with MAC because MAC NC50 that I'm a MAC NC means a warm yellow undertone. So I thought it went across like most foundations, but only MAC does that. And I found that out. So when I purchased this, I was under the impression that C meant just like the mac it was going to be a warm yellow undertone turned out this is definitely more on the red side but it still looks beautiful on my skin in my opinion because first of all you only need one pump it's so pigmented and it's thick it's definitely a full coverage matte like she says today i'm literally only wearing one pump of this foundation, but I always wear a lighter concealer to balance it out. And I think the reddish undertones, I think it warms up my skin. But I think when this gets to maybe like halfway or maybe finished, I don't know when that will be because I only use one pump, I'm gonna try the 14W, which obviously is a warmer shade. But this foundation, and I, I find recently with like the heat i've only been reaching for this foundation because it stands up to the heat and it looks perfect like you'll put this foundation on and you're ready to take it off late at night and you go like oh your like your face still looks snatched and you don't you ever like wear makeup and you 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 know your skin looks so good you're like you don't want to take it off but you have to because you have to go to bed this foundation does this for me every time because I'm going to be wearing this foundation all day today. I have a long day. And by the end of the day, I know when I look in the mirror, it's probably going to look just as beautiful as it does right now. <sighs> if you don't own this foundation, get it. If you have a yellow undertone, get 14W. Don't be like me. <laughs> all right. So the next foundation I'm going to talk about. And this foundation to me didn't really get a lot of hype when it launched and it's the Natasha Denona Foundation X. I have it in the shade 88Y. This foundation retails for $45 and this is supposed to be a full natural finish. Now the only thing I would say about this foundation is the shades, the darker shades are very funky. Like this one that I have here because I remember going in Sephora and swatching like the shades below this like in the 90s and to me I remember them being too red this one though and and imagine all of this and it still made my top 10 this is how good this foundation is this has a little bit of olive and I hate any foundation that has olive undertone because to me let me show you guys it makes me and it's a little light so I have to manipulate this foundation a lot it makes me look like ashy so let me show you guys what I mean See, it has like, it's neutral, but there's, there's some type of olive in there. But how I manipulate this, I wear a concealer that's, that's not too light, that's almost close to my skin tone. I'll put like a lighter powder under my eye and I would set it with my Anastasia powder, the dark orange kind of powder. 
just to tone it down a little bit and kind of offset that kind of olive and it looks spectacular let me tell you this foundation guys and i reviewed this on my channel ages ago don't sleep on this foundation like i said i didn't see it get you know like a lot of hype for natasha denona standards this is such a beautiful 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 foundation guys when you put this foundation on it's just flawlessness from beginning to end just like all the others i love this so much i wish i didn't have to manipulate it this much i've used quite a bit it's almost like half so maybe when it's finished well you can't even swatch in sephora anymore that's the thing maybe if there ever comes a day when you can go, you know swatch in sephora again damn this coronavirus and people that are not listening and still being reckless Anywho, I digress. So I would love to swatch the darker shades. Maybe I can work with it just like I've worked with, even if it's a little red, how I've been working with the Charlotte Tilbury. This this is a found this is uh oh, this is a fantastic foundation, guys. Don't sleep on this foundation. If you're interested, get it. All right. This next foundation is this is a foundation that gets I get so much like mixed opinions on this foundation, but this is my ride or die, my holy grail. I top 10 MAC Fix Fluid. Yes, do the Fix Fluid. I'm in the shade NC50. This foundation retails for, let's see, how much is this foundation? It's, I, I think it's 30 something dollars. And so this is a matte foundation. It has like a medium to full coverage, but I usually get a full coverage out of it. Now, this foundation. My nieces don't like this foundation. I have a friend that doesn't like this foundation. The last time I did my um, foundation occasion, somebody had said it looks very cakey on your skin. It never looks cakey to me. I use two pumps of this foundation. It's heat proof. You can go in 100 degree weather with this foundation. It does not move at all. This is my vacation foundation. If I'm going to like a tropical place, Max fake, MAC Fix Fluid, it doesn't move. It looks like... <laughs> Like you painted your skin and you and it's stuck on your face and i love the amount of yellow in it they need to bring a pump though i haven't purchased it in a while but i still i don't think they have a pump i purchased this pump to put on here i don't think it has a pump love the color and because this is my shade reference for everything mac nc50 and if you're mac nc50 somebody's outside like screaming and perfect amount of yellow so every, most foundations i purchase if they you know you know you try to do a shade finder i use mac nc50 because i think it's the perfect undertone i love this foundation so so much and i know a lot of people don't a lot of people complain about the paint smell i actually like the smell it's so much nostalgia when i put this foundation i get the smell it's like oh because this is one of the first liquid foundations i ever purchased and i i have like a special connection to it plus i think it's so beautiful so this is this is why that definitely made my top 10. All right, wow, so we did nine foundations. Now for my final um, foundation, I went with my Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation. Guys, this is perfection in a bottle. It has a little less than the standard 30 mils because this is almost like a thick cream in a bottle. You just need a pea size amount because I'll, I'll show you guys how thick it is but it's worth it so this foundation retails for $28 and you can get it from the the Nestor Myricks website I I have the shade W05 this shade is super super although I love yellow this is to me like almost John this kind of yellow so I usually mix this with so I think N7 or something like that. But if you love like a lot of yellow, I guess you can just go straight. But like I said, you need a pea size. This foundation is the definition of, you know, I love to say doll-like skin. This does it. I also get a lot of compliments too when I wear this foundation. The only thing with this foundation though, I, because it's so emollient and so creamy and has such like a radiance to it. I love wearing this foundation in the cooler months. Like it's been so hot, like 90s. I wouldn't wear this foundation. But let me let me just show you guys. And the, it, there's a little like window here, and you can see like your shade. It's um. Let me show you guys. Whoops. It's so thick. I didn't even mean to. I wanted like a pea size. I think almost a full pump came out. But look, the thickness of this foundation. Look at that. 
And this would this could cover your whole face. But did you, do you see the amount of yellow in it? So what I do with this, I take a little bit, I take a brush, a stiff brush. I blend it out and then I go in with a beauty blender, guys. And after you have said this and you've completed your makeup and you look, your, look at yourself in the mirror, it's like just as beautiful as all the rest, but it just has this real definition of face tunes. Everything looks smooth. It just looks like smooth, creamy goodness. <laughs> like your skin just looks creamy and healthy and radiant, but not in a disgusting, oily, creasy kind of way that ages you. It just looks absolutely stunning. And like I said, it holds up beautifully in the cooler months. I haven't worn it for that long in the in the hotter months, but in the cooler months, like fall and winter, this looks spectacular. And because it's so creamy and, and so full coverage, it it's perfect for winter. I think it's like a nice barrier for the cold. Such a beautiful foundation. This doesn't really get talked about too because, I mean, Vanessa Myrick, she's a woman of color. She's a makeup... I've spoken about her so much on my channel. She started her own makeup line. Her products are very beautiful, and this foundation is no different. It's just super, super thick. So you can go with like two or three pumps, a pea size, half a pump, or if you're really into that really full coverage look, a full pump, but this is absolutely fantastic, guys. All right, so that concludes my top 10 foundations. I feel very, very good about it because like I said, this took me like a, a couple months to, to get it down. And um, I don't know what else is gonna come out, but as of, <laughs> as of today, 2020, August, these are my top 10 foundations. If I had to get rid of all my foundations, I was only left with 10. These would be uh, the 10. All right, guys. Um, let me know in the comment section which one of these foundations you own. Maybe you own all of them, like why you like them. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.